The Cloverfield Paradox was the third film in the Cloverfield trilogy, and while it was not as well received as the first two films, stick around because in today's video we're going to discuss what the paradox was, and how it drastically impacted all three existing films, and what it could do in order to make a whole new set of films. So what was the Cloverfield Paradox? Other than being a less than ideal sequel, the Cloverfield Paradox is a very cool fictional theory that ended up dooming Earth in the Cloverfield trilogy, and may continue to do so if there are any more films in the series. The paradox itself is quite simple, but it's going to require some backstory in order to make sense, so hold on for the ride. The paradox is explained in the film that shares the same name, and it's described on live TV to a reporter named Leslie, and it is being described by a conspiracy theorist named Mark Stambler. Both of these names would be familiar to any fan of the Cloverfield franchise, as Leslie is the dying woman who attempts to knock on the bunker door in 10 Cloverfield Lane, and of course that bunker is owned by Mark Stambler's brother Howard. As cool as that easter egg was, Mark was on TV as he was being interviewed about potential problems that could arise from the existence of a particle accelerator that sits on the Cloverfield space station. The accelerator's purpose is to provide the Earth with an unlimited power source, and while that would be amazing for the people of Earth, there was never a guarantee that the accelerator would work or even be deemed safe enough for use. This is exactly what Mark's concerns are when he's asked about the space station. Mark is concerned that the accelerator will cause unfathomable ramifications to the planet, and he also believes that if the particle accelerator is turned on, that it will reach speeds so incredibly fast that it would rip a hole in the space-time continuum, causing the space station to travel through different dimensions. While the science isn't quite there to justify this theory at all, it's exactly what happened in the movie, because of course it is. When the accelerator is turned on in the movie, the space station travels to a different version of Earth, one that's completely overtaken by aliens who are in a war with the humans of this Earth. Not only that, but the lack of a space station allows Clover and the other aliens who attacked New York in the first film to travel to Earth and attack. Essentially, the events of the Cloverfield Paradox end up being exactly what sets the stage for the original film. It is a crazy and time-bending twist on the franchise, and while it was not very well received, it does open the door to a brand new set of films that may see the gang do something we never dreamed possible. They might find a way to reverse the paradox and stop this invasion before it even begins. It's going to take some crazy time-being adventures, but it may be able to happen. As we saw in the film, the paradox was caused by the particle accelerator being turned on and ripping a hole in the space-time continuum, causing the space station to not be present in the Earth's atmosphere, setting the stage for Clover and her alien pals to attack the now defenseless planet. When the passengers on the station end up ripping a galactic-sized hole through the universe, they end up finding themselves on a planet that never had a space station, which allowed once again for Clover to attack Earth. We find out at the end of Cloverfield Paradox that the Earth that the space station crashed on may be the same version of Earth, as the movie ends with a shot of Clover triumphantly claiming the Earth. While many fans have correctly pointed out that this monster is much larger than the Clover we saw in the original film, it is a monster that looks nearly identical, and I believe that we are supposed to assume that this is an older version of the same monster, implying that this is in fact the same Earth from the original two films, just in the future. The whole thing makes little sense, and I'm not going to try and explain the fake science in the film, but I do think that there is a chance that the old gang has a shot at beating this paradox, if the franchise chooses to expand. Hold on tight, because this is going to get pretty wild. While I believe that this franchise should leave it at three films, as I believe that the ending of the last film is a scary enough note to leave on, I think the idea of adding more and more movies to further bungle up the already incredibly messy plot and timeline just to cheapen the horror that these movies did deliver would be a waste of the original three movies. But I know Hollywood, and I know that they love to take old franchises and old movies and either reboot them or remake them, so the odds of a fourth film being added to this franchise is pretty high. I think that this franchise does have a leg to stand on in terms of making a fourth film, even if the franchise is in a perfectly fine state right now. Regardless, let's get into it. The few humans who are left on Earth fighting this war against the aliens need to find a way to rip the space-time continuum once again. Why? Because this is the only chance they have of traveling back in time and being able to warn the crew prior to their unfortunate decision that led to the doom of the Earth and the human race. While that already seems like a daunting task, it hilariously isn't the hardest part of their journey. The hardest part would be finding or building a machine capable of traveling as fast as the particle accelerator. Now obviously, the easiest answer would be to recreate the original accelerator machine that started this mess in the first place. However, that's likely impossible. The only thing that humans could do would be to hope that the aliens have the required tech to not only travel through dimensions, but to accurately travel through dimensions. That last detail is actually the most 
most important part of the entire journey, because there is a very unfortunate outcome that we're not considering due to the already awful circumstances. What if some humans find or build a machine capable of interdimensional travel, but the jump that they make actually ends up making this much worse due to the unpredictability of interdimensional travel? What if, in the desperate attempt to reverse the awful reality that the humans find themselves in, they jump right into a much worse one? If the humans are going to have any hope of going back to a world that has any sense of normalcy, they are going to have to jump through dimensions accurately. They need to know exactly how they're getting there and exactly at which time they're getting back to ensure that they can get back to a time in which they can stop the terrible events of the Cloverfield trilogy. If Hollywood suggests that we must get a fourth film in this franchise, what will it look like? I know I said a fourth film in this franchise would be unnecessary. I could see a fourth film being really great. What if the film centers around Ava and Schmidt, the two passengers of the space station, that managed to escape the station and their journey to survive the original Cloverfield event. The pair would be dead set on attempting to hijack some NASA technology before it gets destroyed, with the intention of finding a way to accurately return to a point prior to them turning on the particle accelerator for the first time. The pair would fight their way through a war-torn America, and when they get to NASA, they actually discover a top-secret project that can semi-accurately travel through dimensions. So the two of them do, and find themselves a few days prior to launching the space station. The pair try to convince the world that Mark is right, and that his crazy sound theory is going to come true unless we stop the particle accelerator from being turned on. But the worst part, no one believes them. The world fights back and refuses to believe the two, and the pair are forced to live out their very few remaining days, knowing what is about to come and being mocked the entire time. The movie would end with the accelerator being turned on and the paradox beginning again. Clover and her alien pals would arrive in a very large ship, and the Earth would jump into an intergalactic war once again. That's all we have for you guys today on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you all in the next one.